Hi, I'm Dr. Hanan Polanski, and we have with us today Dr. Idan Itzkovitz. Hello there. Hi, Idan. Uh, and by the way, Jan, Idan just came from a shift at uh, the hospital and had a long night with a lot of patients, so bear with him. Maybe he'll be a little <laughs> tired, but uh, we highly appreciate the opportunity of talking to Idan and, and, uh, at, at this moment. So, yes, we're talking about the HPV, a study that we conducted that tested uh, gene-eating virinavirin, a natural product, and the effect it had on HPV. So let's start with talking about the human papilloma virus, HPV. Idan, give us a little information, background information about HPV. Okay, HPV is a DNA virus that attacks humans, as we know, and one of the problems that HSV con H HPV I'm sorry, causes is that it turns a shift cell that can, can lead the, at the end to a cancerous uh, result. Okay, do all uh, types of HPV cause cancer? No, of course not. There are more than 100 types of H HPV and only about 15 to 20 of them can really pose a risk for uh, cancer. Okay. Uh, tell us a little bit about clearance. I think that's a very important idea that most people are not aware of, so go ahead. Sure. One of the most important things that we want to test on uh, an HPV is how long does it take the virus to go away. Now we know from previous studies that around 90% of the people are going to have clearance of the virus after a, a, a period of around two years. And you mean naturally, without treatment? Absolutely. Our problem starts with the other 10 to 15 percent. Over there, the virus doesn't go away, it, it is not cleared. And these are the population of patients that are at risk for having cancer. And, and these are our main objective of trying to, to treat them. Okay, so let me just summarize what you just said because I think it's very important. Some people are unaware of it. The immune system is capable of clearing the virus. In most people, not yeah. all people, most people. So if somebody is infected with a virus and he has a very efficient immune system, then the immune system will take care of the virus and clear it. The problem is with some people, you said 10%, maybe more, that cannot clear the virus. What happens to these people? Well, as I said before, one of the main problems we have with, with this population is that there are at greater risk to get cancer. This cancer it can come in uh, various places, such as uh, cervical cancer, vulvar cancer, pharynx uh, cancer, and etc. And these are the people we want to treat. We want to make sure we're we need to boost their system. We we got to make sure that they're going to get rid of the, the virus. And until today, we had a big problem of doing that. Okay. Now let's talk about our study. We have some background. What was the objective of the study? The objective of our study was very simple. The only thing we wanted to test was the clearance rate of HPV from these patients. Simple as that. So what we tried to do is basically give them a treatment, in our case gene and venovirin, and then see if there is any change in the clearance of uh, the people who take this product. Is Abs that correct? Absolutely. But before we go into this section, we got to go a step back because okay. first of all, the first thing we did is we wanted to see what happens in a population of people who do not use any treatments. What's going on over there? So what we did is we, we compared, we, we actually looked at the literature and we found five big studies who tried to find exactly this point to see what happens through time. For example, at the beginning of our study, we're going to see it later when, when we're going to show you the graphs, but you got 100% of the population has this virus. And we want to see how long does it take the virus to disappear. Okay, so we'll give you an example from the studies, the five studies, and here's the first example. This is a figure that represents the results of Leo and colleagues. Let's look closely at the figure so we understand better what they observed. On the y-axis, we have the proportion of people who remain HPV positive. 
on the x-axis, we have the time since HPV infection measured in days. Let's take a few specific points so we understand better the, the graph that we look at. For instance, let's look at day 200. At day 200, we have about 50% of the people who clear the virus, meaning 50% of the people still have the virus, are infected with the virus, and 50% of the people already clear the virus. Let's take another point, let's say 500. After 500 days, we have about 30% of the people who are still HPV positive, 70% of the people clear the virus after 500 days. At the end of the experiment, at about 760 days, we see that about 10% of the people are still infected with the HPV virus. Most of the people, over time, clear the virus but not everyone. Some are still HPV positive after two years of observing these people. This figure represents the results of Leo and his colleagues versus our results, the results in our study. The blue line, as we remember, it's the graph that represents the results in Leo. The green line is the one that represents the results in our study, meaning the people who took Genied and Virinovirin. As we can see right away, just by looking at it, is that people who take Genied and Virinovirin clear the virus much faster than people who don't do anything, meaning they wait for the immune system to take care of the virus. Let's take a one specific point on the graphs so we can compare. For instance, after 300 days, this is 300, and let's see what Leo is saying. Leo is saying that after 300 days, about 50% of the people are still infected. People who take Genied and Veer, in comparison, after 300 days, only 10% are still infected. What happens after the end of the year? It's like about here, 365 days, 365 days at the end of the year in Leo, we see that about the same, let's say 45% of the people are still infected, while people who take gene eating virinovirin, everyone, 100% of the people clear the virus. So, Faster clearance and better results. 100% clearance at the end of the experiment. Finally, as you can see, there are five different graphs here representing five different studies. When we compare the results of Gene Eden Veer in all these five studies, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, the green line, which represents the Gene Eden Veer Navarin experiment, versus the natural clearance always shows that gene and virinovirin increases the speed of clearance and the final result, complete clearance versus all these five cases. Uh, let's talk about our study. We know what we want to measure. We want to measure clearance. What did we see? Okay, so first of all, our study included 59 participants all of which suffer from symptomatic HPV infection. And what we wanted to see is very simple. We, we looked, these people were treated with gene and virinovirin between a period of two to 12 months. And what we wanted to see is how long does it take these people to have their virus being cleared away from their system. So our results showed us that, for example, in, in the literature, what we, the five uh, studies we, we showed you before, they showed that it takes the virus between 6.9 to 20 months to be cleared without any treatment at all. In our treatment, 
we saw, with the treatment, I'm, so, I'm sorry, with Gene and Navirin, what we saw is that it takes it an average of 5.1 months to be cleared away. And that's a very important uh, uh, advantage. That means these people can actually get rid of the virus. And not only that, amazingly, we saw 100% of the population get HPV cleared, which is a very good result. So let me see. This is really drum roll, right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have to do that. Yeah. Um, what we saw, first of all, is that it's much faster in clearing the virus. Instead of a long time that it takes to clear under natural conditions, it clears much faster. Also very important, it clears better in the sense that some people who did not clear the virus after a long period of time suddenly do clear the virus. We have 100% clearance after taking gene eating the virus, right? That, that's exactly what happened and this is the amazing thing about it because for example in one of our studies that we that we compared and we used it as a control only 20 percent of the, the patients actually were cleared of the virus at the end of the period think about it we have a hundred percent everybody exactly basically everybody who took gene and via and was in our study cleared the virus yeah. Oh, that's a great achievement. Okay, would you like to summarize the study from a patient perspective? After all, you're a doctor, you came from the hospital, you know what's going on. Please summarize it from the patient perspective. Suppose I'm a patient, I'm coming to you, I have HPV, I'm all worried, uh, I don't know what to do. Hey, doctor, help me. What should, well, what should for, you say? Let's start from this. That this is one of the things that we encounter in every day. Patients are coming, they have no idea what they, what they can do, and they're looking for solutions. So I'm going to divide my answer into a couple, uh, a couple of sections. The first section, hey, don't get infected. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I'll try not to. <laughs> you can do that either by, by not having uh, relationships or you can have a vaccine. The problem with the vaccine is that you can get it before you start having sexual intercourses and you get it usually between the ages of 9 to 26. The second option you have is don't do anything at all. Live with it, hope it's gonna get away. Maybe it's not, maybe gonna be one of the 10% who stays with the virus. And our third option is to treat it. Now, Gene and Virenavirin is actually the first systemic treatment that is being offered to treat HPV. So far, we only offered topical solutions or surgical solutions. What, we, what we, we showed in our study is actually something new. So let me see. The three options is get vaccinated in order not to get infected. Yep. The second option is don't do anything. Wait, maybe your immune system, you're lucky and your immune system will take care of it. And the third option is treat it. And within treatment, there are again two options. One is symptomatic, meaning uh, topical or maybe surgical, or gene and virin, which is a systemic treatment. Take it and you help your immune system clear the virus. Am no, I right? You're absolutely right. And there is one more thing. Our patients reported no adverse effects. Yeah. And this is crucial because yes. a lot of these treatments, even the, the topical or the surgical solutions, they all show side effects. And this is something very unique. Natural product with no side effects, and it works. It really okay. works. We were very happy to see that uh, our study benefited, can benefit so many patients and has such uh, great results. These are our findings. Um, these findings are published in a paper in a medical journal. The medical journal name is Drug Design, Development and Therapy. And you can read it for yourself. Just go online on Google or go to the publisher's website. And you see all the findings laid out with the graphs, with the numbers, with everything. And thank you very much for listening to us. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.